Hi all, this is I Learn Code here. In the last video, we managed to create a new film called Film 1 and write it to the console. I'll just go over that again. We've managed to create a film called Film 1 with a release date of the date that appears in the console. What we want to do now is we want to be able to create subs and functions to alter the stock level. So what we're going to go ahead and do is open up the film class within VB class library uh, and then this is the one with, where we previously set the ID, release stock and title fields and properties. If we create a little bit of white space below the properties and create a subroutine or a method. If we go ahead and create a public so it's available outside the class public sub we're going to name it reduced stock reduced stock sorry and we're going to pass in the unchangeable value of quantity as an integer so this routine is going to take in an integer named quantity hit enter and it's going to end the sub for us now to complete this sub we need to write what it's going to produce so it's going to return our stock level equal to the stock minus the quantity as an integer that we passed into the argument of reduced stock. So what we can go ahead and do now is if we return to our class 1 under VB console application, if we in between it, so we've created our film 1 as new film, the film stock is equal to 4. If we go ahead and call film 1, then our reduce stock subroutine and then pass into it the if we go back to the film class pass into it the quantity that we wish to reduce stock by which goes in between the brackets so if we want to reduce it by one open bracket one close brackets so we're able to see our stock level if we pass in stock to the console white line film one stock, we'll be able to see our new stock level. So we want our stock level to, to be created at four, and then reduced by one. So hopefully we should see three, and we do. If we close that, we can play around with it again. If we type in three, for instance, we're expecting a value of one. There we go. The only issue is, is that if for any reason we type in 5, it's going to return a negative value. Now in real life, we don't want that situation to occur where we've got a negative stock level. We want it to hit 0 at the most, or nothing at all. And the way to do that is by a function that passes in an if-else statement. So that's what we're going to do in the next video.